crafty friends welcome back to my channel so today is going to be uh, a different kind of video i am sharing my um october not quite daily um fall documenting supplies so there's been a lot of chatter in our community about october daily and i went back and forth about whether that was a project i wanted to do and here's so before we talk about the supplies let me talk to you about why I've been wrestling with the with this project. I am not a Halloween fan. Um, I never, like, I, we never celebrated Halloween when I lived with my parents. I've never dressed up. Like, it's not a thing that I'm attached to. But with me not doing Project Life this year, I've been feeling that the smaller stories that don't, like, appear in my storybook album are getting lost. Like, the smaller stories don't have a home. And I didn't want to start Project Life now because it just there's like three months left in the year december daily is going to take over my entire life and so it didn't make sense to me logistically to start project life now so i was going back and forth with what can i do where can i start and i kept coming back to the idea of october daily because october daily would document october my thankful 30 would document november december daily would document december and then going into 2021 in january i could start project life but I kept wrestling with the idea because every October Daily album I've seen has been Halloween themed and I don't enjoy Halloween. So I was like, I'm just going to do my own thing. So I'm not committing to doing a daily documenting project. I'm going to call it October Not Quite Daily. And I'm just going to be looking for the day-to-day -day stories just like I do in December, but one, less aggressively. So if I don't have a story every day, that's okay. Two, I'm going to make a fall themed album. And three, I'm going to work on it in batches. And that's going to be my way of uh, achieving success with this project in my Thankful 30. So Without further ado, here's my plan and what I'm going to be working in. So I have an old 6x8 album from Allie Edwards. This is an old Week in the Life album from like 2018, I want to say, and I never use it, but it's just a gray and white stripe, which is really classic. And so my plan is to work in 6x8 and to include both October and November in this album. Um, I'm going to do it more scrapbooking style, so there's going to be like 6x8 layouts, but there's also going to be pockets because... I'm going to keep this really low impact and really easy for me so it actually gets done. And if I'm trying to do a bunch of interactive and off the page things in a 6x8 album, I'm going to burn out by the time December rolls around. So we're going to keep it nice and easy. We're going to do 3x4 photos, journaling on journaling cards. Um, we're going to keep it easy. So here's the album I'm going to be using. And then here is my uh, basic supply tray. Um, I'm going to, after this, go through my um, Allie Edwards cards and pull out cards that I think uh, match this color palette and match the type of the stories that I think I'm going to be telling. So like, I have some old stories by the month kits. I definitely have some stuff that's fall themed and I'm going to go through and pull out. But here's what I'm starting with. And I will include links in the description box to everything that I can still find. These I bought last year at Michael's. These are like Halloween things, but one white glitter pumpkins and then this is just orange and gold so they totally match my color palette. So I pulled it out of my stash and added them. They're a little bit more dimensional. Like if you see these pumpkins are raised and they're on foam, but I don't mind dimension in my album. So I put them in here and then everything else is stuff that's relatively recent. So this is from Feature Craft. This is the a uh, date documented stamp set, but I like anything, I hope this glare isn't terrible, sorry, but I like anything that has a day of the week, so it just seemed like an ideal stamp set to just throw in my tray um, that I could reach for. These are some new stamps and dies from the stamp market. I have been really into die cutting recently, so I have the large, these are the autumn leaves and then I got the mini autumn leaves so I have it's the same die but at two different scales and then I got the autumn leaves stamp set so this is the coordinating stamp for this die I didn't get the coordinating stamp for this die because I think I'm just going to cut these leaves out and arrange them on a background um, but I did want to have the coordinating stamp for this uh, die so these are from the stamp market and like I said everything that I can still find I will link in the description box if you're interested in anything that I'm using um this I'm going to set aside for later. So I wanted, I'm also going to set that aside for later. So here's going to be my color palette for the, I guess the quote unquote October side of my fall uh, album. So the October, not quite daily color palette. I was really attracted to this uh, paper collection by Cardabella called Hello Autumn. So it has orange, red, greens, like this really dusty turquoise color. So I got the six by eight paper pad. Um... Can I open it up without making a mess? Let's see. Okay, so here we go. 
So here's what this looks. So it's very rustic. This is what grabs me, this pumpkin paper. It is very rustic, but if these are cut down to three by four, and look at this one. Oh, is this not, wait, where is it? This isn't it, where'd it go? Is this not the most magical thing you've ever seen? I'm totally doing this with this leaf die cut, by the way. Like this is just gonna, this might be my cover page. Um, but yeah, so it's very rustic, but I was really attracted to this color palette. And like I said, if you cut this down to smaller elements, it doesn't seem as like vintage and rustic and you mix it in with some modern embellishments and you can easily take a color palette like this um, and elevate it. So the other thing I have that's like scrapbooking is this is the Simple Stories Autumn Splendor line, but it's just foliage. So it's just leaves and pumpkins and flowers. No like sentiments or anything else. Literally leaves, pumpkins and flowers. So just things that you can layer on a photo um, and add dimension. So that's why I grabbed these. And they're different collections, but the color palette, because it's a fall collection, very similar. And then I grabbed a few new stencils. I, I mean, I needed a stencil like I needed a hole in the head, but I grabbed a few new stencils. So this is Tim Holtz. This is the layering stencil in autumn, um, which again, just repeating the leaf element. Uh, I'm sure most people when they do an October daily, they're looking for pumpkins and everything else. I'm looking for leaves. So that's why there's a million leaves. This is a Cartabella. This one's called Harvest Leaves. Again, just a leaf stencil. And then this one is also Cartabella, and this one's called Pumpkin Spice, which again, it's just crosses, but it's called Pumpkin Spice, and how was I not supposed to buy it? Like, that was the biggest gimmick ever, and it worked, you guys, it worked on me. Okay, and then, here is my paper, and I ordered all this stuff from scrapbook.com, that's why my receipt's still in here. But I ordered a few 12 by 12 papers, so I'm gonna take this out for now, because that's not related to this part. Um, so here are the 12 by 12 papers. So it's this one, it's this robin's egg blue, and then on the back side, it's that big pumpkin, uh, which I had to get 12 by 12. I didn't get it for this, but I got it for this because you guys, it's just a floral. Like how do you say no to a floral in this palette? Um, here's another, did I get two of the same paper? Oh no, it's just different scales. Okay, so here's a small pumpkin, here is a big pumpkin. Here is that really fun rainbow paper that's gonna be my opening page. I'm not sure, maybe I'll die cut out of it or I'll do some stamping, I'm not sure, but this is gonna be the opening page for my album. Um, here is another really fun repeated leaf pattern. Here's another really, so I went for the leaves. Like these are all the B-sides, but I went for the leaves. Here's another really fun floral that can be fussy cut. If Mr. Tashi behaves, he will fussy cut these for me, we'll see. And then here is another leaf pattern. So I went with, again, a bunch of leaves. Now you guys might notice that all these papers are cream and you're probably like, Tashi, you don't like cream. I will do cream as long as cream and white are not on the same spread. So I just have to make sure that when I work on this, I'm not trying to mix cream and white. Um, and that is how I will make it work. So those are the papers I have uh, for the my October Not Quite Daily album. And then I have a bunch of cardstock from American Crafts. I'm gonna go through this and pull out some coordinating cardstock colors just to add to this tray so that when I'm die cutting, I can die cut from the pattern paper and from the cardstock. So the other thing that's gonna go in this album is my Thankful 30. And I have the Feed Your Craft My Thankful 30 kit. If you haven't seen what it looks like, so this is what comes in the kit. It comes with a stamp set um, that has like these really fun circles. And then it comes with a bunch of pieces from the Simple Stories Cozy Days line. So the, the ephemera and the puffy stickers, some uh, envelopes, some craft envelopes, and then it comes with the cards. So what I did is I went on scrapbook.com and just so my stuff went a little bit further because I plan on doing a more scrapbook style album, I grabbed the journal bits these are, these are pieces designed for you to do some journaling directly on it. I grabbed the coordinating six by eight paper pad, which we will take this tape off so you can see what's in it. Yeah, so the coordinating six by eight paper pad, here's what it looks like. Um, so it has some full size pages if you wanted to do this as a page, but they're also double sided. So even if, oh, look at that. It's like a fall bucket list. How fun is that? Um, so yeah, if you don't wanna use those full size pages, there's also cut aparts, three by four cut aparts, which are great. You can also just use the back sides because everything's double sided. And then the other thing I grabbed was the coordinating 12 by 12 sticker sheet just to give me more bits and pieces. Um, when I use stickers like this, I just use my uh, powder tool to take the stickiness off the backside and then you have a die cut and you don't have to use it like a sticker. 
So my plan is to integrate a little bit of this collection in the October side of my album so that there isn't like a really visible demarcation between October and November. And so I end up with a cohesive fall album at the end of it and not like chapter one was October and chapter two was November. But that's how I'm gonna be documenting fall. And these are my October, not quite daily, November, my thankful 30 supplies and it's all gonna go in the same album. The other thing I wanna do is show you some oxide combos or oxide ink matches for the cards in this kit. So I'm gonna go grab my inks and I will be right back. Okay, so I pulled out my inks and I will say I feel comfortable saying all of these are perfect matches except the blue. Um, because the blue in this, col in this color palette is not, uh, it's not a, it's not blue. It's a dark teal. Like it's not a navy blue, it's a dark teal. And I don't have a color in the distress range and I don't think there is a color in the distress range. It's a teal that's dark enough. Um, so this is the only color that I don't have an exact match but the rest of them are exact matches. So for this one, I think Chipped Sapphire is gonna be your best bet. It is the deepest blue in the distress range. Um, and like I said, it's, it's, it's a traditional blue. It's not a teal, but it is very, very close. For this uh, uh, olivey green color, Crushed Olive, kind of perfect, uh, but Crushed Olive is going to be your exact match. It's a olive green that has that uh, dusty brown in it, so it is a really good match for this color. This one probably surprises no one, but Tattered Rose is pretty much spot on. Like Even in the packaging, it's the exact color, uh, but Tattered Rose is spot on for this dusty pink color. So I went back and forth with the oranges, and I think Rusty Hinge is going to be your orange for this particular color. I have a lot of the range of oranges, and there is a huge orange range, but Rusty Hinge is going to be your best bet if you want to match the particular tone of orange that's in this collection. And then for this color, Antique Linen, it's pretty much spot on. It's uh, just brown enough, just yellow enough. It's pretty much spot on. And then for the yellow, fossilized amber is gonna be your bet. Now, I don't I don't tend to stamp with the Distress Oxides, but I do a lot of ink blending. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be using my inks in my album. Um, and I figured, since a lot of people have the Ranger line, um, it would just be fun to have the uh, coordinating inks that I think are gonna be your best bet. So that is that. Those are my supplies for my October Not Quite Daily, November Thankful 30 fall mini album. I have no idea what I'm gonna be calling this when it's done, um, but this is my plan. So my plan is to, again, batch it in like maybe twice a week work on it. Um, I'm not committing, at least in October, to daily pages. I'm just gonna tell stories as they pop up. Maybe I'm gonna be documenting coffee. Maybe Joshua and I will go to brunch. But all those smaller little bits of life that I feel are like slipping through the cracks and don't have a home, this month they will have a home and I am so excited. So. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, anything else that I can still find, I will link in the description box if you guys are interested. Um, and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on my October Not Quite Daily and my supplies. It is a very different color palette that I think you guys are seeing. Um, and so I'm really excited to just get to work. So I will see you uh, next time. And until next time, keep your crafting. Have the very best day and I'll see you around. Bye.